Hey guys, it's me. So today I'm gonna do a cosmetologist go-to hair products. So I'm just gonna go over all my hair products that are my go-tos. I'm always using them, they're always in my circulation. I am a licensed cosmetologist in Nevada and Utah. And so these are my products that I recommend. Most of them are professional products. I always recommend professional products because they are higher quality, they're gonna be better for your hair, they are usually free of the things that are super harmful for your hair. So they're gonna give you the best results. And ever since I've been using exclusively professional products, with I do have an exception, I have one product, um, but ever since I have them, my hair hasn't been in so much better shape, I've grown it a lot. Let's just get into it. So to start with, I'm gonna go with shampoo and conditioner and I'm gonna try and give a, um, give you some options of lower end and higher end. So my lower end product, which is still kind of high end, is going to be the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny um, Shampoo and Conditioner. And so most of my products are more suited for color treated hair that like um, I'm blonde. Right now I have some pink on, but I'm normally blonde. And so I try to put as much moisture in my hair as I possibly can. And so these are this conditioner I love or shampoo and conditioner I love. So it smells amazing. With professional products, one thing that's good is you don't have to use as much as you would with a regular shampoo because it is more concentrated. With this, I have some clients that get, that feel like they have to use a lot of shampoo because it doesn't really lather up. But that's a good thing because if it doesn't lather up, it doesn't contain sulfates. And um, the sulfates can be really, really damaging to your hair and they'll build up a lot. When you use a lower end shampoo and your hair feels super silky, a lot of the time what's happening is it's coating your hair. And so it feels great in the moment, but it's creating this layer of nasty on your hair that you're going to have to break through to be able to do anything to it. So go to for sure. And I also really like Matrix um, and they're super affordable. Ulta will do a liter sale. And I'll try and post on my Instagram. Follow me. It's Maisie Kelly. Um, I'll link it below. It, I'll post on there when they're doing their leader sale because it's super, it really is very affordable and it's totally worth it. Your hair, you got to invest in your hair. <laughs> so my higher end shampoo and conditioner is the Colorproof um, Moisture Shampoo. And this one I love because it is a bit minty the conditioner so it makes your head tingle and it smells so good and it's very moisturizing it makes your hair feel amazing and this one does foam a little bit or lather up a little bit so if you're somebody who really needs that and likes that feeling this is a good option for you so i definitely recommend this and um they do have a bigger size this one is quite expensive but it's totally worth it the you really do get what you pay for with this so um, if you're looking to spend a little bit extra, this is great. It's very comparable to Pureology and ever since L'Oreal bought Pureology, I'm not as big of a fan as I was. And so, um, this is extremely similar and I really like it. I think I like it more than I like Pureology. Next we have a purple shampoo. So this, let me see the lighting. Okay, this is the Gem Lights, um, color wash and this one is... I think they have a few different ones. The one I use is, this is Flawless Diamond. So this purple shampoo, let me see if you can kind of see how it's super, like it's almost blue and it works miracles. Like it makes your hair so blonde. It's gorgeous and it can be drying. So definitely I recommend using this with a hair mask, which brings me to my next product. And with that purple shampoo, you only want to use it about like once a week. And if you have really, really um, porous or like overprocessed hair, you want to make sure that you're not leaving it on there for a really long time. Um, it can, it'll turn purple real fast. This has hair on it. <laughs> so my next one, this is from Colorproof again. It is the um, Crazy Smooth Anti-Frizz Mask. And this makes, I, it feels like you have a Brazilian blowout with this. It is so good. It's so hydrating. It really smooths out your hair. Um, it's more on the expensive side. I believe it's probably, I think it's like $48 it retails for. One of those things, you can use it once a month or twice a month. 
and it's amazing it's totally worth it it's a great product now we're gonna move away from shampoo conditioners mats and all that and I'm gonna run into aftercare so my number one favorite dry shampoo I actually I don't have one on me right now I haven't bought it in a minute it is the um, perfect hair day by living proof their dry shampoo it's amazing 10 out of 10 my favorite dry shampoo if you are wanting to go a little bit more on the um, lower end for dry shampoo Batiste is my other go-to I really I love Batiste I've never had any issues with it causing problems so this is my one exception to professional um, you can get them at Marshall's this can let me see yeah it still has a tag on it this can is only $10 at Marshall's and it's huge I've had it I've had this particular can for like at least six months and you they have a bunch of different scents and they all smell so good. My go-to leave-in conditioner is the Matrix Total Results The Miracle Creator. And it's kind of like, it's a 10, but it smells like a dream. It's so yummy. And a bottle, I would say, lasts me probably like three months. And I, but I use a lot. My hair is very dry. So this is something that if you don't have a dry of hair, it's probably going to last you a little bit longer. But it's Honestly, this isn't super expensive. I would say it's probably It's probably like 12 to 16. I'm not sure how much but I'm gonna link everything below with the prices next to the link so that you know exactly But this one is definitely one of my favorites. My next is Serum and it's the Paul Mitchell super skinny serum and it is the same as the shampoo and conditioner I love this stuff. It has the same yummy smell and this I've had this for probably like six months now and that's all I've used so this is a really good investment you're not going to use a lot just one to two pumps I have super thick hair and so I use a little bit more and so if your hair is not crazy thick or crazy long you're going to use a little bit less but I don't think I've ever used more than two pumps even with long hair so good investment my next product is hairspray. So big sexy hair. That's my favorite hairspray in the whole world. Um, I don't know if they have multiple ones. This one is spray and play harder. Oh, they do because they have spray and play hard. And this one's spray and play harder. So this one is a bit of a um, better hold than the original or than the other. I don't know if the, this is the original or the other one's the original, but I definitely I like the best hold I can get. And um Back in the day when I used to dance, this is what I would always use for competitions and for shows. It's the best, hands down, love it. You can spray a little bit, brush through, and it doesn't make your hair feel crunchy. Um, so, and it washes out super easily. Hairspray is something that I definitely recommend getting a um, professional brand because it's you want to be able to wash that out and get that out of your hair. So definitely a big recommendation to get professional and then last but certainly not least is my favorite hairbrush so this is the wet brush um I don't know if they have different styles with this this is I think this is just their original regular one this brush is awesome um if you have kids best for tangles super easy just like get in there and brush through um my only complaint is it does get like those little fuzzies on there super easy and it's kind of hard to clean off um, if you're cleaning it daily or weekly, there, it really doesn't become a problem. But my per my professional one, I clean a lot. This one I don't because it's just mine and I'm lazy. Um, but so it does get that build up really easily versus other ones like my paddle brush that I normally use, which I haven't cleaned in a long, in a hot minute, so it's got hair all over it. But it is just the Ion paddle brush from Sally's and it doesn't get build up like this one does. So that's my only complaint. Okay guys, so those are my go-to hair products. Um, let me know if you what you wanna see next, if you wanna see any more in like the cosmetologist recommended section. I'm gonna link all of those products down below and then this makeup look, I filmed a tutorial for it so it'll either be up before this or after this and I'll make sure that it's linked here once it's up and all the products I use will be linked down there so um thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next time bye